Hello and welcome to the Free Pack Project, Season 4, Episode 8. Hopefully 8 will prove to be an appropriate number because that's where we're headed, hopefully, Division 8. If I can get just a single measly point from two matches, surely even I can manage that. So a quick transfer update, Villar sold, cha-ching, and we move on to the packs swiftly. The Team of the Week pack holds a treasure. Icardi, a player we'd initially had a little bit of joy with, but one that sadly made way for other players. A Team of the Week upgrade for him is most welcome. Also in there is Simon Terod. Terod? Terod, maybe. Playing at VFB Stuttgart. Four-star weak foot, good shooting and physical attributes, plus he's six foot three, aerial threat. The comments on his page on Fathead are largely comparing his stats to those of Mario Gomez, and you won't find any complaints from me. Positive. On then to the first jumbo pack, Consigli. Slowly building a decent Italian team, one for the future. Hector, Houlihan, Isla, not pant wetting. Second pack then. Big Millie. That's the stuff. Plus Ginter, Kabul, and Jurgen Klopp. Klopp could prove to be very, very useful just getting that last little bit of boost in. I'm sure he's been a duplicate before. Anyway, no matter. Build a team we must and we need to fit in Big Millie, as well as keep our big hitters, namely Gomez and Latza. We also need to use some Team of the Week players, at least one, really, and freshen things up. Challenge accepted. So I ended up with this. A slight change to the back four, bringing in Font and Luisinho. That allows Big Millie to join the party and sees Sun's return. The right hand side is untouched, like children in the company of Michael Jackson, allegedly. And playing up top with Gomez is one of our new Team of the Week strikers, although perhaps not the one you expected to see. I'm not dropping Gomez. Not until he goes three games on the spin without scoring. That's a new rule that I just made up, but I'm going to have to stick to it. It could be interesting playing two strikers together that are so similar but fuck it no one's watching anyway also i'm having a bunch of decorating done so rather than playing in my nice comfortable lounge as i normally would i'm in the kitchen i could have just taken a week off some people probably would have been grateful for that but no in the words of the late freddie mercury the show must go on so one match of two remaining in division nine against flash ash lions Walcott makes sure Moyer is warmed up, poking this through as I leave a hole larger than Kanye's ego in my defence. Early on, in fact, Sterling and Walcott combine a couple of times, but as we know, Moyer is solid. This isn't fun. Corner in the 22nd, Cahill heads goalwards, Font sorts it out until Moyer shuts him off and then slices his clearance. Thankfully, the ball people gets back there to sort it out. Shout out for Font, I'm doing a lot of defending in this first half and he's been great. And Walcott continues to be a pest. When I have got forward, my new striker hasn't impressed. Comparisons to Mario Gomez aren't currently warranted. Font is on storage here, but he still gets a pass off to Vardy, who hooks it in. Pathetic. Gomez up to Sun at the start of the second half. Decent shot, but not going to be checked from there. And the resulting corner bounces about a bit, eventually coming back into a Chater, who misses quite badly. Short free kick here, Sun turns and finds Latza, who's held back. Ref blows up instead of waving play on the slag, and I end up wasting a pot shot with Latza. Less impressive going forward this week, Latza. Still producing well on the defensive front, though. He did score a banger, though, didn't he? So now I have to shoot every time it opens up with him. Come on, Danny. Head in the game. One last chance in the 84th. Falling to the man I want all my chances to fall to. Good hit, but Czech somehow manages to turn it onto the bar and we see the end of a fairly routine 1-0 loss. 
One match left, one point needed. Can't take any chances. The new striker isn't striking, which is his job, so fuck off out of here, son. Ramos is coming in and not taking any chances. I try only to complain about lag if it's really bad, and this is really, really bad. Crippling, actually. I haven't messed with this. It's exactly as I captured it, and it's a disaster, isn't it? And I have to at least draw to get promoted. Of all the games for crippling lag to strike, it had to be the one I cannot lose or quit or whatever, didn't it? Of course it fucking did. Crosses seem like maybe a good option in this kind of situation. Maybe not. It's literally like playing through a fucking flick book or something. So a match like this will be won or lost by a freak moment or maybe a piece of individual brilliance. Latza to Gomez here, Gomez into Ramos and then off he goes. Very slowly. Eventually gets there, puts it under the keeper and you have no idea how relieved I am to go in front there. I made him watch the laggy replay too because I have serial killer levels of compassion. Skills? No, 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 shouldn't laugh. Could have happened to either of us. Doesn't make defending easy, does it, lag? So I'm incredibly grateful to see this gathered by Moya, even if he does have to dump font on his ass. Similar to my break earlier, he gets behind my defensive line here, so I'm in trouble, aren't I? Probably, eventually, maybe. No, the game does finally give out, so unless the servers shit themselves now, I should be safe. Promotion done, looks a little bit hairy for a second there, but we pulled through and now need a strong start in Division 8 after I've sorted my fitness out. I neglected that for the last two games. Also, Ramos stays. Of course Ramos stays. That was supposed to be fixed. Two patches. Anyway, our entry into Division 8 is against this Musa. Hmm. At least the game is smooth, even if my defending isn't as Rashford gets the better of Luisinho here and fires under a Chater's block. Fuck all happening until the 37th minute when Font does well here. Bit short of clips from this game. Ramos in just before half time, tries to shoot across the goal, but Forster keeps it out. Second half, Gomez up to Ramos, who's in a game, but denied once more by Forster. Ramos to Gomez this time, lovely pair like Victoria's Summers, but that's a rare miss from the big man. He knows it and he's livid. Luisinho on a mooch finds Gomez and he doesn't miss two sitters in one game. We're level. Just two in-game minutes later, Gomez and Sun exchange on the left, leaving Gomez through. Kind of. Lots of work still to do. He does it though. Of course he does. The big MG. The machine gun. Massive goal scorer. My guy. Mario Gomez. Wordplay. Quitting or subs? Subs. Nice ass. Twin managers, that's not weird at all. 
very sketchy in the 85th as he pulls off a skills pass and then goes on to hit the bar with Musa. Shit it. And in the 90th, he's throwing everything forward. Font clears this up and humps a long ball up to Gomez times a perfect pass to Ramos, Forst is on his way out, and a lovely little dink from Ramos puts to bed any chance of a late equaliser. Wonderful stuff. So a win to kick off Division 8. Went horrific. Even if our new striker wasn't smashing it, we got the job done this week with a forgettable blip in the first game. Shout out to Gomez for the pass for Ramos's goal. Perfectly timed through ball, literally one frame later, and that's offside. Is there anything this man cannot do? We've seen him scoring, we've seen him assisting, he was even doing a bit of defending this week. So maybe these two are my dream combo now. Maybe that's the answer, Ramos and Gomez. Gomez and Ramos. Rames. Gomos. Shame we didn't get another barnstormer out of Latza, but hey, there's still time. Apologies if the audio is off, as I said I've got a bit of decorating being done which is why I'm playing in the kitchen and recording in my rather echoey conservatory, but them's the brakes. Bye.